So today I'd like to welcome you all here once again. It's good to see you've all come back. It, it, it shows all of you, all of you have, have the good intention to build a lot of goodness in your own heart. And what we call this, and what we call building this goodness, this is called, uh, building merit or making merit. Making merit is what it actually is, is, is making a happiness in the heart, making our heart happy. There's many, there's many different ways that we can make merit. All the different kinds of like, maybe we can, we can give offerings, uh, we can do chanting, um, and while we're chanting, we have mindfulness and we, and we, and we think of the good qualities of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha and we pay homage to those good qualities. This is a kind of merit as well. Another good kind is to keep our precepts, keep, keep good morals, and also doing meditation. Whether you only do, if, even if you only do meditation for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, even in that time, you might be able to make your mind calm, and this is this is a great source of merit already. Another great source of merit is is what all of you people are doing here right now is helping out Bodhikusuma, helping out all the different people that come to help. Uh, but to help out, one the most important thing of, of helping out a, a place like this or helping out in any activity is is helping out with a sense of harmony. So for me here, I've I've been here for many days and. Well, I've been teaching and it's good to see all of you come here and practice so diligently. But I couldn't have come here and I couldn't have helped teach you people without, without so many people, um, without so many people coming to help out. There were so many people coming out, coming to help out on so many different levels. It just for example, like when, when we go arms round in the morning, you know, we went out on arms round and there was, there was lots of people coming to help us, help us, uh, carry bags and, and put the food in and carry all the food, but then all the, also the other people that were actually giving the food as well. It, this this is this is a great sense of harmony and a great sense of uh, helping one another. Also, a lot of people came to listen to the Dharma and to practice the teachings, and this this was a great success over the last week. But this was this was only a success because of, because of the harmony of all the people that work here at Bodhikusuma, on all the people that volunteer and all the people that are on the on the committee here. You know, every every one of you, you've been doing your responsibility to the fullest and to the best of your abilities. Even though sometimes it's it's quite normal, we all get together and we all help out, and sometimes we maybe have problems or or or, or disagreements between us. You know, this is normal. But but the most important thing that you need to do here, if these things arise, is to be is to give forgiveness to those people that, that we have differences with. Because giving, because giving forgiveness, this is actually the highest kind of dana that one can do. It's very, very important. If, if we start to get angry or we get angry and we, we start to argue with other people, the most important thing is to, is to, uh, is to give forgiveness to that person and also forgive ourselves. Because all of us, all of us here, if we're helping out here, we're all, we're all wanting goodness. We're all wanting to do a good thing. We all want to do good things and give up the bad things in our lives. So all of us have a good intention. So what we really need to do, if we do have any differences, is to is to just forgive for, to, is to give forgiveness. The path to nibbana it, it takes a very very long time. It, it it takes many many lives. You can you can compare going to nibbana is is like going across a great ocean. To go across a great ocean, you need you need a boat or you need some sort of vessel. And, and that boat that we have at the moment is, is the path of morality, concentration, and wisdom. And if, if we all sit, if we all get on this boat and we all use this boat, we'll eventually get across the ocean of samsara to nibbana. So what you have to realize, all of us here that have come here and all of us here that are helping and all of us here that are practicing, we're all in this same boat. So what we need to do is, is develop harmony and get along with one another. Because when one gets to the point where one will eventually see the Dharma, what we say is the path factors, the Noble Eightfold Path, the factors of the path, they will, they will come into harmony and, the, and they will come to their, their fruition. So for us, we, 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 need to, we need to develop ourselves to harmony so we can bring about the greatest fruition in our lives. You can, you can see here with Bodhikusuma, it's been operating for nine years, it's been open for nine years, and the reason it stayed open so long 
and has done such a great benefit is because of the harmony of everyone coming here to help out. You get so many different different levels of of people that are coming here to help out and getting along harmoniously. Whether it, whether it's you people that are coming here to practice and to help give food and help out and do do the different duties that need to be done here, or it's the monks coming a long way to teach teach the Dharma. You know, everyone here is doing their bit to to spread the Dharma. So what you need to do now is now you have a, a good center like this and you have people to teach. What you have to do is, is practice accordingly to what to those teachings that have been taught. And eventually, if you keep practicing along the lines that of of what the monks are teaching here, the results will eventually come to you. You have to you have to consider your own situation. You, you all of you here are very very lucky. You've been born as a human. You've been born as a human being, and you've been born in the time that the Buddha's teachings are around. And also, you're also even more lucky. You have teachers coming to teach you the Dharma. You have a very good place to practice, and especially you have someone like Nina who who puts so much effort into it, into into spreading the Dharma. Nina is a very important person with running this center here, and all the volunteers. So so. You have like the perfect conditions already. You have all these d- great different things. So, so now it, it's up for you to practice. So if if all if all of you if all you practice to your full abilities, and you know maybe maybe even one of you here will the at Bodhikasuma here will maybe your mind will become very very calm and 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 you might even become enlightened. One of you, and if and if just one of you here becomes enlightened or or experiences some of the Dharma that the Buddha taught. You know this center has has given its good results and it's done it's done what it needed to do. So all of us we come here and we we should be getting along harmoniously because all of us all of us want to have want to want to develop this goodness in our heart. We're all here and this is this is such a great benefit to a place like Sydney. So I hope all of you grow in this practice. <laughs>